many of you are perplexed right now. I know this. I know it from talking to people. People are very nervous right now. They're afraid. They don't know what's going to you know, come tomorrow. And it's more so these days than it was, you know, let's say years ago. But, you know, i got to tell you younger people something. A lot of guys don't want to get married. They say they're afraid for the future. Well, you know, that is the most wussy, punky thing I've ever heard. You're telling me that your great-grandfather, let us say he was in Europe, had a secure life? He knew what was coming the next day? There was no democracy, there were dictatorships, yet they had families? Why? Because they were men. They didn't walk around with gelled hair looking to, to have an orgasm and again, think that they were a men. You know, I mean, really, think about it. Well, you're telling me that in Ireland or during the Irish potato famine, your great-great-great-great-grandfather didn't have children because he was afraid that they'd starve. He had children. Not because he was afraid of being punished in the next world, but because he knew it was the mark of civilization and manhood to have a, to have a family and to raise that family. And yet you look at the guys today, they don't have the guts to stick out of marriage, to, to stick with a woman. So really you could say, well, the times really aren't a changing. They're sure they're changing in the specific, but not in general. They've always been insecure. When I was a kid, we jumped on the desks expecting a, a nuclear exchange any minute. You know, duck and cover, duck and cover. We had to jump under the desk. Somehow everybody I knew got married, except for the guys who went to Fire Island on the weekend. But they're not here anymore. That was their choice. They all got married. They weren't afraid to get married and try to have a family. Why, times were more secure then than they are now? Nonsense. It's that you're a narcissist, you're an egomaniac, and you're a wuss. That's why you won't find a woman and get married, is what I like to say. But you won't listen anyway. You think it's all a joke. So now we got the problems. Sure, we have problems, but they'll be resolved. There will always be division. There will always be strife. There will always be a tug of war between one uh, faction and another, whether it is political or religious. And this will go on forever.